A missing 13-year-old girl from Edmonton was found in Oregon over the weekend. A 40-year-old man from the area faces multiple charges, including child luring and sexual assault. The story has reignited concerns over youth and online safety. The Zebra Center for Child Protection in Edmonton tells me in the summer holidays, sexual abuse can often go unnoticed and unreported. As children and teens are out of school, away from teachers, counselors, and authority figures, and most likely spending more time online. They add that during the pandemic, they saw an 88% increase in reports of online sexual exploitation. The Canadian Centre for Child Protection tells me the same, adding 77% of sexual extortion cases reported to them are happening on platforms like Instagram and Snapchat. The person has, has connected with the youth through their Instagram. They know that it's a youth because of all the information that's being posted. They then drive them to a more secure communications platform like Snapchat, you know, exchange images. And then once that image is exchanged, it's it's immediate threats. Sauer adds the center has seen a 120 percent increase in online sexual abuse reports in the last six months alone, saying if anyone finds themselves the victim of online blackmail, don't comply and report immediately to either police or themselves. We'll walk you through the steps. We'll help you. Um, we'll help get supports in place for you and ensure that uh, that we can try to intervene in the situation. Adding the center would like to see more onus placed on social media platforms to regulate themselves and prevent adults and children from communicating online. Sauer also says talking to your kids about online safety needs to happen early. Have regular conversations about technology like you do about school, about family, about friends about different social interactions. Make it a regular part of your, your conversations that you have. In Edmonton, Darcy Rockchan, City News.